injection from Ionic Systems. What we have here is our latest pulse, um, which we've launched this month. Here is last year's version of the Grafter, and this Grafter 32 was very successful in sales, uh, mainly down to its collapsible height, which is 1.6 metres. Um, we, this year we've made some improvements to the pole, both in the quality of the sections that we're using and also we've improved the clamp plastic itself as well. So we're minimising basically uh, or lengthening the longevity of the poles uh, once they're out in the field. All the poles come with transverse clamps and basically what we mean by that is the clamp section here can be changed to either left or right handed. To tighten the pole up once it starts wearing then all you require to do is a clockwise turn a small amount and that will re-engage the pole section and hold it in place while it's use. Okay what we're demonstrating with today is a 21 foot grafter. I'm also going to show you the glider 25 and the glider plus 30. Uh, and they all have their unique benefits um, and depending on the window cleaning round that you have will basically help you assess which pole is right for you. We've talked about the benefit of the grafter collapsing down to 1.6 metres. This makes this pole, whether it's a 17 foot, 21 foot, 24 foot, 28 foot or a 32 foot grafter, they all collapse down to 1.6 metres. So you can work with one pole on two storey or three storey buildings. You can also work on bungalow type premises in tight corners because of the short sections. The grafter is a hybrid pole. So basically we've got a mix of glass fibre and carbon fibre content. So basically the carbon adds a bit of rigidity but it also adds hardness to the sections as well so they will last longer than your glass fibre sections um, and as you can see basically it is a very nice pole to work with with very little bend in it if you're looking for a, a higher grade of pole then you can look at the glider range the glider range is all carbon fibre and this is a glider 25 which is ideal for single storey two storey buildings the collapsible length of the glider 25 30 35 and 40 is two meters so you can see the sections are a little bit longer but the beauty about all carbon fiber poles is basically they are a lot more rigid and easier to control so if the operator has to stretch across quite a lot to access areas that are difficult to get to, then obviously the pole stays rigid, which makes it easier to control. For those contractors that are looking for a little bit extra, because they do both domestic and commercial work, we also have the range of Glinder Plus which basically is a more rigid carbon fibre still. So when you're looking to fit a commercial head onto the pole, then this pole will put up with that extra weight. So you can have a residential and a commercial pole simply by changing the head. Because these windows are cleaned with pure water, you have no lubricant on the window at all. So if you were to try and use a microfiber cloth for instance, on that wind, it sticks to it like glue. If you were to put your squeegee blade on there, it would it would just judder. Oh that's not as bad as it was before, but there's a lot of arm movement going on here which is something that you've got to consider about the longevity of uh, you're in the industry for so we're looking at repetitive strain injuries and things like that so as you can see here there's a lot of arm movement 
and that's something that we don't recommend. Um, and part of the British Window Cleaning Academy training course, um, we try to instill uh, window cleaners to use more of a hip action uh, to and fro motion to basically conserve energy and also um, stop repetitive strain injury as well. So what often I would see is basically a window cleaner doing standing still basically and using all his arms and his muscle groups to then push and control the pole around. Basically what we're teaching you in the uh, British Window Cleaning Academy is one, hold the pole correctly. So to avoid slipping on the pipe, if you hold that midway up, hold the pole with the base of your hand and then do more of a hip action. So it's a, a swaying movement. Now you can see I'm not using any of my arms to force the pole up. So I conserve energy. But you find that a bit more tricky with a heavier and a bigger pole. It's, it's even better with a heavier pole. Because again, the weight of the pole goes up so you're having to use more of your muscles to control that pole. So rather than using your muscle groups to push that pole up, yeah. you're literally just using a swaying action. Back. Oh, Correct. Yeah. It's, it will feel weird. Yeah. But it's, it's yeah, sort of like a rocking uh, action. Yeah, I get the you, idea. You're going back to being a child again. Yeah. <laughs> It is, I mean, like I said to you, it's, it's, it's more beneficial to those working at higher height. Yeah. It's, uh, the, uh... It, it's trying to basically wait, is the grafter right for me or is the glider right for yeah. me? When we had the pole extended, we were feeling the benefits of a much stiffer pole. On a shorter length, we've exchanged it for a grafter and he's feeling the benefits of utilising the grafter because of those shorter sections. Mm. So it's much easier to work with. And that's where you need to juggle. Is the glider right for you? Is the grafter right for you? And it's more based on the work that you have. Yeah. Like you said, because it's short, so you're not worried about what's in front. You get a feel of the length. That's right more forgiving basically. The brush heads tend to be a bit more rigid than this, it's more flexible, hence it should get in all the corners. So you've got long bristles on the outside of the brush. Here we go. Now a typical icon brush, you've got long short bristles in the centre, longer bristles on the outside. These bristles fold out into the nooks and crannies and your shorter bristles stay flush against the window in the window frame. Because it's more of an open weave, any dirt that's taken off flows through the bristles and away. That's why with an ionic brush head you can keep the brush on the window while doing the rinsing action. So, how long has it taken me? 20 seconds to do a 21 foot pole. Put it back in your van, you're ready for the next day, and you've extended the life, doubled the life of your pole just by doing that on a daily basis. <laughs>